Hello everyone. Oh, let me try to get this. How's everyone today? I'm trying to get this situated here without falling. Okay. Um, how is everybody today? I'm doing another painting. Um, this, well, yesterday was a fail. Um, I wasn't going to post it, but, you know, um, maybe some of y'all can learn from my mistakes, <laughs> which was putting too much paint on the dip. I'm not supposed to put as much paint as I did. Um, I actually scraped it off. I think I was talking about scraping it off on one of my other videos that you can scrape off. If you don't like it, just scrape it off. Or in my case, I use my paintbrush and I just, you know, put, brush it all in and stuff. So this is what I came up with yesterday. Um, it was a fail. I still posted up the video. I mean, there are fails, but, you know, that's how you learn by failing. And um, never give up. So I'm here to do another one. And this is what I mixed up. I did it pre-mixed because I don't have a lot of time on this video. And this canvas is pretty small. So I'm not going to take up a lot of time. <clears throat> I'm using this little strainer. Um, uh... <clears throat> I know some people use the bigger strainer, but since I have a small canvas, I'm just going to do a smaller strainer, which I happen to have just laying around the house and not being used, obviously. Um, <clears throat> so this is what I'm going to use. I've never done this before. I'm going to, this is my first time with the strainer technique. I hope you guys like it. Um, let me know if you do. Comment below. Like my video. Let's see how this turns out. We're going to find out together. Because I don't... I've never seen these kind of strainers. So, y'all let me know. Okay. Give me one second. I'm going to put you on pause for a few minutes. Okay, guys. I'm back. I realized that my lens was dirty. But I'm not going to start the video over. I'm just going to leave it as it is. Can you? Okay. So, like I was saying, we have this. Okay. So, I don't have any paint to show you but my finished product here. Which I have about two ounces. I don't know why. But I have about two, two ounces. I thought I might need more than what I usually do on a 8 by 10 Um... Okay, so here we go. I'm a little bit nervous. I used a lot more white because, um, and the white is a little bit thicker. Um, I got a little insight from Susan King. Um, she's one of my inspirations on YouTube. Um, she's a great artist. And um, I've been trying to, you know, uh, create cells. And I've been, <laughs> I've been doing this for like a month and haven't been able to create cells naturally so um on the artist group that we have with susan king she's a great artist um i was recently added to her group and i'm so excited and she gave me some insight on <clears throat> using white as a cell um creator which you know the white or the black uh tends to go to the bottom and then but I'm not doing a flip cup so I don't know how this is going to work but I still used a lot of white and it still went all the way to the bottom so I'm going to see how this works out thank you Susan King for the advice and insight um okay let's get started so let's um I'm just gonna <laughs> wing this out and let's see how this works because i've never done it before so we're gonna find out together guys here we go <clears throat> i hope i have enough paint here oh i'm loving the pinks already i don't know why the pink is going on to the side there goes all the white 
I hope you guys are seeing this because this is really cute. The turquoise ended up at the bottom, so I'm just trying to keep a circle of motion. And this is turning into <clears throat> Oh wow. Let me try to zoom in because that looks really cool. I don't know how to zoom in. Look at that. And it's just spreading all by itself. I'm going to let that. Oh, ooh, I just learned how to zoom in on my phone. That was pretty cool. If only this thing would stay still, I would be very grateful. It's just falling down. Okay. Wow, guys. This is pretty awesome. Let me move this because my phone is acting up and it's going to fall right on my canvas. All right. That's good enough. Oh, this is so pretty. Well, I'm going to lift it and see what comes out in the middle. You lift it really, really slow. And I guess you let it drip for a little bit. Oh, all the paint just stayed right there. That was not cool. It's all on the strainer. I thought it was all going to come out, but it didn't. But, um, okay, well, I like the outside, though. The inside looks a little bit too white for my liking. Which I don't understand why all the paint just kind of sticked. Okay, let's just... <clears throat> oh, I see some cell action going on. I hope so, because I haven't been able to make any cells. I'm pretty excited about this. I just don't like all the white in the inside. But the... The outside, I mean, let me bring you in. Look at the outside of it. This. Um, okay. Let me see if I just move it around a little bit. I'm kind of excited with this. I see some cell action in the middle. It's just not popping up the way I thought it would be in the middle. Maybe I did add too much water to it. Right. Ooh, I see cells. I'm excited, so don't mind me if I'm overly excited about seeing the cells. Maybe I wasn't using enough white to begin with on my other paintings. I see something here. What is this? I don't know, it's a little rock. I see some cells, and this is so awesome. I'm excited right now. Thank you, Susan King, for your advice and your guidance on pouring mediums and creating cells. Oh, this is so pretty. I'm going to bring it to the middle. <clears throat> I mean, even though I said I didn't like the middle that much, but there's cells in there. Look at this. I'm excited. They're so pretty. I should use an edge catcher. I don't have an edge catcher, but I'm going to make one up. I'm going to make one up. I'm 
Wow, this is pretty. I don't know what this is, but I'm going to use it to catch my edge. This is the other half of my spatula that I use to spread my paint with. There you go. All right. That went through very well. Okay, let's do it on this side. Look at the cells popping up. I am so excited about this one. No, I don't want to lose any of that. I'm losing a lot of paint here. Oh my gosh, I am excited about this cell creation. I probably used too much white. But I'm still happy with, oh gosh. I'm still happy with the results. You can tell that I'm excited right now with all this cell action. Uh, I don't have you guys on focus, but this is so pretty. Like, I've been complaining about not getting cells, and I finally got advice from a real true artist, and I followed those instructions and look what happened thank you all right so now i know i need to use a little bit more white for my creating cells naturally instead of with silicone and stuff so let me keep you guys in focus this is so awesome okay now that i have all the corners done i'm gonna try to get back to the middle which i think i stretched it too much i'm not sure but i'm gonna go back this way wow this is so pretty i'm so pretty excited pretty much yeah I see that. Look at all the cells. I don't know if this lighting is perfect, but this is pretty awesome. I am loving this painting. I am loving this. <laughs> you can tell that I'm in love right now. Because my voice has turned into a sweet and soft this is very beautiful the details on these are so awesome and um <clears throat> i'm loving this i'm really loving this if you guys are watching and seeing I don't know if it's focusing, but look at how beautiful that is. Look at the details on that. That is pretty awesome. See, you never know what you're going to get when you start painting. You just paint. <laughs> and, and this right here looks like a cross. That is so awesome. I love that. I love it. I love all of it. It's just so pretty. It is pretty. Let me wash my hands, guys, and I will bring you in for a close-up if the lighting is good or not. Look, even this has a, a, a cell in it. You see it? It's right there. Wow, that's so beautiful. Wow. Well, this is the result, guys. Let me... I'm just going to... Let me clean the edges here. This is so perfect. I'm in love with this painting. The colors were perfect. Um, this is more like a baby shower color. You know, with the purple and the pink and the turquoise. It is so pretty. I am in love. In love, in love, in love. Okay.
Let me bring you in for a close up. And I hope this is going to focus. See that? Oh my gosh. Look at how the purple and the pink and the turquoise just mixed in together. That is just so perfect. Look over here. That is just perfect. I love the way this looks like a cross right here. Or even if you turn it, it looks like a human. <laughs> Some kind of person to stand in there. This is just so perfect, guys. Look at the edges. I love this area right here. And the way this twisted right there, this, you know, it's like a wave. And then the same thing over here. It is perfect, guys. I'm in love with this painting. Thank you, Susan King. Um, uh, you guys find, can find her on YouTube, she has so many ideas and so many um, great color choices and everything. Um, she's I've been watching her videos for a little while now since I started, so um, she's a good inspiration. She has so many ideas and color choices. Um, you guys can watch her. Um, she is Susan Art with Susan King. Find her on YouTube, watch some of her videos. She is very hilarious and very um, insightable with her paintings. And um, it's really fun to watch her. Um, well, thank you guys. Um, subscribe to my page, comment below to let me know what you think about this painting. I'm pretty excited if you didn't notice on my, you know, with my voice, because all of a sudden I created cells, which I've been trying to do. <laughs> For the longest time so thank you susan king thank you guys for watching um subscribe to my channel comment down below keep in touch with me and let me know what you think or if you have any concerns uh, we can learn together i am also new at you know the painting and obviously this is my first cell creation and i would like to share that with you guys um thank you for watching anyways um like and subscribe comment down below let me know what you think about this video or the painting that actually came out so great which i thought it wasn't but this is a remake from the one from yesterday that i failed and um this is what turned out so thank you guys um i'll see you next time Bye bye